NBC 15's Syra Onward tells us the many reasons why Colonel Matthews' promotion is so well deserved. Joni Matthews is going on 30 years of military experience. I was active duty for 11 years and then I joined the, Na the National Guard in 1997. It, it's been the best decision in my military career was to join the National Guard. Matthews' extensive career began at Fort Rutger where she flew helicopters and was an aviation instructor. She then served in Germany for more than a decade before returning home to the U.S. The commander of the 147th at the time in Wisconsin recruited me to come to the National Guard. Matthews will not only be the first woman brigadier general in the state, her promotion is also a milestone for Native American women. Matthews comes from a line of Lake Superior Chippewa Indians. It's inspirational, but I think more inspirational is not this, this upcoming promotion to brigadier general or her assignment to human resources director, but it's about knowing where she came from. Growing up on, on a reservation has given me the culture uh, the, the strength to, to do what I am able to do. When I asked Matthews about the example she was setting for her two daughters, she said they, along with her husband, are the ones who inspire her. What also got me here was, is the women veterans that served in World War I and in World War II years ago that helped pave the way for w women veterans. Colonel Matthews is an example of the outstanding caliber of men and women that we have here in the state. Uh, working and serving as Wisconsin Guard members. It's just a great opportunity and I think if you do the best job that you can, you can attain any goal, any challenge that you put in front of you. And if you love what you're doing, especially you're going to attain those goals. In Madison, Syra Onwar, NBC 15 News. And congratulations to her. Colonel Matthews will be officially promoted to Brigadier General at 8.30 Monday morning in the Senate chambers during a special pinning ceremony.